All right, Pedrito over here is gonna take us to our room. We have access to the executive floors. They gave us an executive room, <gasps> which makes me wonder what our rooms look like. My boy squad, here we go. Oh, wow, Pedrito, <laughs> this room is amazing. I'm glad you like it. Ooh, I'm liking the carpet. Yeah, thank you. Wow, awesome. Oh my gosh, chocolates. Mmm, <gasps> wow, fruits. Oh, blue grapes. I'm gonna have one right now. Mmm. <laughs> RJ, I'll visit your room after. All right, we got a note here. Dear Mr. Mikey Bustos, a warm welcome to Hilton Kota Kinabalu. All right, wishing you a pleasant stay. Oh, they're so nice. Whoa, liking the view of our window. I see jungle, I see friends. Well, not really friends. Wow, I'm loving this. So cool. Mm. Oh my gosh, these chocolates are so good. Mm. Mmm, wow. This white one? Mmm. Let's go see your room. Wow, everything's digital. Guys, this hotel is new. It just opened. This bed apparently is new. Beautiful bathroom. Love it. And of course, this is where I'm working. I think this is such a cool place. See, it's almost like a home, sort of. Like, we have our rooms, and then we have access to, like, the common family room slash kitchen, right? Let's go see RJ's room. Ooh, oh wow, your place is sunny. Your bathroom's a little different from mine. Oh, you can even see into your bedroom when you shower. Interesting. I have chocolate. Wow. I'll get your fruits. Wow. Yes, please, these chocolates are mine. Ooh, you see buildings. Awesome, but it's so sunny. I like the sun that comes into your room. I really like this hotel. It smells good. It does smell good in here. Right. And it does feel new. Oh, look at all this. RJ's gonna take that. You're so Filipino. You take that stuff. Well, I can I give it away to the kids. Yeah, he takes it and gives it to children in the Philippines. As for me, I'm taking this chocolate. Yes, all for me. I like your couch. So cool. Loving the pillows. These executive floors and executive rooms are pretty cool. And they focus on business travelers and corporate guests. So it's really great that they gave this to us, Mobu High Squad, for us. What a blessing, right? We are the one and only Mobu High Squad. That's why. Mwah. Love you guys. Thanks for watching another vlog. Oh wow, look, Mobu High Squad. They even welcome us on the screen. Sweet! My mm, boy squad, look at these snacks. Okay, I told you I'd be back. <gasps> mm, gonna get some cheesecake. Gonna get this panna cotta looking thing. Mm. Ooh, this is called chicken boxing with Malay spice. Interesting. Uh, let's get some, my boy squad. Mm, it looks delicious. Yes, love it. Ooh, chicken curry. Of course, love chicken curry. Hello, yummy. Mmm. Oh, it's cooked so well too. It's like so soft. Falling off the bone. Mmm. Delicious. Gosh, look at this long slab of marble for the table. <gasps> Came away, squad. Let's try this stuff. This chicken boxing. It's super good. Mmm. It's different, right? Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Let's try this. Chicken curry. Mmm. <gasps> oh. Mm. Chicken curry so good. Love it. Love curry. Oh, it's so soft. It's like falling apart as I pick it up. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm. So good, my boy. Let's try the cheesecake. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Good quality cheesecake. Mmm. And the brown crust at the bottom. Mmm. Mm. Let's try this panna cotta stuff. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, so good.
Mm, guys, they even have cheese, see? And fresh fruit. I love papaya. Mm. All right, my boy squad. We're now heading to a special place. It's a village, right? Yeah, it's called Mari Mari Cultural Village. Yes. All right. And Mari Mari in Malaysian means come, come. Money, come, come. <laughs> <laughs> okay, RJ's attempt at humor. Alright guys, we're here at Mari Mari Cultural Village. Ooh, this place is neat. Ooh, we got refreshments. Which one? Guava and watermelon. 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 RJ will get watermelon. I, had guava. Guava. I will have guava. Alright. Ooh. Alright, thank you. Okay. Cheers, RJ. <laughs> so, mm. you're from Philippines? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Nice to meet you here. Nice sure. to meet you too. Uh, Mabuhay squad. He just said that RJ looks like Enrique Hill, a Filipino <laughs> artist. Does he? Does he? All right, guys, we have a new friend here. He's going to be our guide today. Yeah. What's your name? So, uh, my name is Rainer. Rainer, I'm excited to explore this Mari Mari village. <laughs> sure. Yes. All right, Mabuhay squad. Rainer. We can also call him Ray, apparently. My boy squad, I met some new friends. They're from Brunei, but they're Filipino. They're from Cebu. Hi, yes. awesome. Anong pangalan nyo? Uh, hi, I'm Gerard. Gerard. I'm Marites. Marites. I'm Kat. Kat. Jun Ray. Awesome, Jun Ray. And you're just vacationing here? Yeah. You awesome. just spent yeah. time yeah. Oh, wow. Salamat Hari Raya. <laughs> yes. yes. Spending right. holiday here in Kota Kinabalo. <laughs> See my boy squad? Filipinos are everywhere. <laughs> oh, cute. These kittens are cute. Okay, they stopped. You're a little less cute now that you stop. Okay guys, so Ray over here was just briefing us as to what yeah. we're doing here. Guys, we're gonna discover Sabahan culture. That's amazing. <laughs> so we're gonna visit different houses and each house represents one of the five major tribes, right? Yes. Of Sabah. Oh man, and it looks really interesting. And some parts look really scary. But my boy squad, I think we're up for a really cool treat here. Let's do this. Ooh. See the wording here? Yes. Oh, it means welcome. Okay. Wow, look at this hanging bridge. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> it's bouncy. <laughs> wow, look at the river. How nice. Whoa, my boy squad. Whoa. This is great. All right. Oh, wow. Look at this. So, Dusun tribe. This is the first house. Sweet. There are actually over 30 tribes yeah. in Sabah, apparently. But the five tribes that we're going to sort of visit with these five houses are the major ones. Ooh, look at this. Interesting. So first of all, welcome to the wow. first house, which belongs to Dusun, which is my tribe. Oh, you belong to this tribe. The Dusun tribe. Yeah. Okay. Rice is stored up here, guys. Yeah, I'm using this big chubak over here. They hang a skull up here. <gasps> over the rice. So they hang the head there to warn people who want to steal this that yes. that might be your fate. So you better not steal it. The Dusun tribe. Okay, guys, let's go into the Dusun house. Dusun tribe house. <gasps> oh my gosh, people are living here? Can we remove our shoes? Oh, no, wait, okay. Yes. Hi, right, sure. Forgive me. Yes. <gasps> oh, wow. There's a lady here. Hi. Oh my. Baby. There's a baby? Do <gasps> yet. Oh wow. Look at this, guys. We'll be drinking, okay? Oh my goodness. Oh, we'll be drinking? Okay, now. Wow. So guys, this is the house. Check out this house. It's just amazing. It's got rooms. It's got like a patio. All of this. Look, there's a room up there. A, a room for the child. This is the most decked out Bahai Kubo I've ever seen. <laughs> So we just had a tutorial on how to make rice wine. It's got different stages. It's so interesting and very involved. See, and then it ends up in there. They put them in these huge like vats and over three weeks you get rice wine. And one of these is for one person. The Dusun tribe drink a lot. <laughs> Ooh, my boy squad. This lady is gonna serve some rice wine. <gasps> I love what it's served in. It's in bamboo. Ready, RJ? Yeah. Aramaiti. Aramaiti. Yes, that's how you say cheers in Malaysia. It's really good. Oh, that rice wine is good. Mm. Another one? Another one. <laughs> another, good, another one. 
Ay, you're asking for two? Super good. Fine. Cheers. Aramaiti. Mmm. That is good, guys. Look, guys. When they make the rice wine, it's got to be covered. And they use this leaf to cover it while it's fermenting. It's amazing. Wow. Check out their kitchen area, my boy squad. <gasps> they light the fire and then they put the food there. Amazing. And they fire this too? Firewood. Firewood. And then it heats from the top and the bottom. Interesting. Yeah. This is their kitchen. Look at all the stuff here and the ingredients. <gasps> Amazing. This is really cool. Okay, Mabuhay squad. So Ray just finished explaining bamboo cooking that they used to do. See, they would add ingredients like chicken, potato, chili, onion, salt, and bay leaf. But back in the day, they had other ingredients that were available to them. And then they cooked them over on a fire like this. Amazing, right? Hmm. I bet it tastes really yummy. Ooh, we're gonna try some, my boy squad. Yes. Look. Mmm. We're gonna try some of the bamboo cooking. It's good. Thank you. It's good. It's yummy? Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Oh my gosh, yum! Uh -huh. mm -hmm. After that rice wine, it was <laughs> yummy. Ooh, and it's got some spice to it. Yeah. Thank you. My boy squad, to say thank you in their language, you have to say Ponsico. Ponsico. Archie's feeling so like free and comfortable. He's taking bananas, which were just on display. <laughs> People cut my head. Nah. <laughs> right. He's like asking for seconds and everything. Okay, Ray, yeah. yes, let's try this. Apparently, we have more drinks here, my boy squad. Ray, what is this? This is what they call Montoku. Montoku? Yeah. Okay. Aramaiti. 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 Yes. Oh, not bad. No, it tastes like whiskey. Yeah, yeah. Tastes like whiskey. Interesting. Yep. Is this the rice wine, or have you ever heard of moonshine? Oh, that's moonshine? It's basically moonshine. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That was yummy. <laughs> Mark, okay. should, Mark should have been here. <laughs> yeah, Mark, you need to be here. We're having Malaysian Sabahan moonshine. Yeah. Okay, so this is another tribe, the Rungus tribe. Wow, this house is like a bungalow. Ooh. Oh, look at the stairs. One step. Ooh, interesting. Nice. Oh wow, this is like dormitories. <laughs> See? The mosquito net. Awesome. I wouldn't mind spending a night here. Okay guys, now they're gonna teach us to make fire. <gasps> Sweet. Alright, this guy right here is gonna make fire happen using like shaved bamboo. <gasps> Ooh. And then a knife? Then he makes the mark. A mark, okay. He makes a mark and then he presses and rubs, okay. Oh wow. I see smoke. Wow. I see smoke. That was fast. No wonder this guy has muscles. Like this takes a lot of like upper arm power. Wow. Wow. Holy. Then you blow. Ah, uh, he blows to see if there's an ember inside, okay. Then he grabs his extra bamboo fibers. I'm assuming. There oh, we see an ember. I see light. Yes. Like they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. Wow. Then he takes that ember, adds mm -hmm. the extra bamboo fibers, blows on it some more. Whoa. Wow. Amazing. Oh, there we go. Fire. That was awesome. Bravo. Very good. Excellent. That's how they start to fire. Yeah. We'll kill the fire. RJ. Okay, my boy squad. I'm going to try to start a fire here. And I just have to press. Okay. Here we go. Press it like this. Yeah. And then. Oh wait, you know what? I'm gonna go this way. Right. Stay on the mark. Oh, I see smoke. Yeah. I see smoke. Oh, come on, get on. Now. Wow. And then. Look, look. They have to blow. I don't know what to do. Start the spark. 
No. Oh. Okay, we have half of some here. Come on. No. <laughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> Cannot turn. <laughs> so my kid doesn't know this is not a fire. What? It's tiring. Ooh, we're drinking honey. Mmm. <gasps> oh wow, my boy squad. So see this? This here is actually a hive. <gasps> see? And here's like a tube. And those are the bees. And guess what? These are stingless bees. They don't sting. That is amazing. I know the Philippines has a few species of stingless bees as well. But look, you can totally harvest honey. Amazing. We're gonna try the honey, guys. This one's fine? Sweet. Let's try it, my boy squad. Mmm. That flavor is different. Did you add sugar? <coughs> no. No, no sugar. wow. It's sweeter. It doesn't taste like honeybee honey. The stingless bees produce like a different flavor of honey. It's like, it's more fruity. It tastes fruity. So guys, we just learned from Ray that there's a way you can tell if the ladies are single or married. If they're single, they will have this here, cape. like a cape, yes. And if they're not, that will be gone. How nice, so she's single. All right guys, this is the house of the Lundaye. Wow, I'm so impressed at these like bamboo homes. I mean, I wonder if like the Bahay Kubos in the past were this grand, and apparently they get bigger than this. Some of them become like as big as 30 rooms or more, like total mansions made of bamboo. I find that pretty cool. Ooh, they're teaching us how to make rope and vest. <gasps> so guys, these vests are made from wood like this. That's just kind of like shaved. And it becomes like that. And they even make rope that way using wood fibers. Wow, it's like real, totally legit rope. Amazing. We're going to see the house now of this tribe. Ooh, wow. These houses though. Hello. Incredible. I like it. Me too. Look at the flooring. It's like tree bark and stuff. Oh, I see skulls up there. Headhunters. Ooh, it's getting dark out here now. <gasps> Going to check out the other tribes. The this is the fourth tribe now? Yes. Okay. Ooh, guys, look. This house belongs to the Bajau tribe. Look at that. Wow. It's kind of fancy. It's so fancy. This is like totally tribal fancy. <laughs> And I think we have Bajau in Philippines. Oh, apparently the Bajau are from Philippines. Oh, how does that work? Well, like this. Back then, yep. well, the history of it, about 500 years ago, yeah, they came here with their boats. Yeah, since the southern part of the Philippines is really near to Sabah. Oh. Yeah, that's how they come to be. Yeah. Oh, and okay. Then, yeah, they landed to the shorelines and became one of the tribe here. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So this is partially Pinoy in origin. Sweet. This is a Bahay Kubo. <laughs> Ooh, is guys. And Jala meaning fishing. What is this? Oh, interesting. She's cooking something. Oh, they look like noodles. That looks like instant noodles, like ramen. Oh, it's some kind of fritter. Wow, guys. And that's what she makes. <gasps> interesting. RJ's gonna try cooking this. Good luck. Come on, RJ. You can do it. Round, round, though. Oh, yours is large. RJ fits right in. RJ, maybe you were Malaysian somewhere in your ancestry. Oops. Fold it, fold it. Don't be rough. All right. Now move it there. Ooh. Awesome. Good job, RJ. Sweet. Let's try it now. Okay, guys, we're gonna try it. Mm. How is it? Good. Mine is hot, but it's good. Mmm. Mm. Oh. It's kind of like sweet. Uncooked instant noodle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very good. Cool, guys. This lady is cooking something. Is this a tea? Yeah. Something like tea. Interesting. So they're called pandan juice. Oh, pandan juice. This is pandan juice, guys. So, guys, this drink is pandan mixed with ginger and sugar. RJ, shall we try? Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Ow. Oh, it's hot. So there's ginger in here. It's like salabat, like pandan salabat. Oh. Mm, wow. That's totally salabat. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Oh yeah, love it. So we good. Salabat with pandan flavor. Mm. Now I'm ready to sing, to sing, to sing. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now we're going inside this awesome Bajau house slash Filipino roots. Ooh, <gasps> wow. Okay, this one's my favorite. Look, we have a reception area. We've got, ooh, like a nice communal area. No, I know how to do this. Oh, I, oh my gosh, this reminds me of my Lola. My Lola used to do this. Hey. Mabuhay squad, you guys know this? That's coconut, right? Yes. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of my Lola. This is total. The bajau are totally Filipino. Yeah. Seriously. And you put like bagoong, the brown bagoong. Oh yeah. No, it's the cold. Yeah, the fish sauce. Along with it, oh. the bagoong, the brown one. Wow, cool. Ray, are you impressed? We know how to use this stuff. Yeah, I'm very impressed. <laughs> See, Filipinos. Oh wow. Look at how extravagant this room is. <gasps> Look at the this room. A baby cradle and everything. Amazing. Wow. Look at this. Okay, yeah. Bajau Tribe is my favorite. Look at the instruments. <gasps> Interesting. Uh, oh, this is a wedding altar. Amazing. You're like the Dato Sultan. I'm so impressed with this Bajau house, guys. It's really amazing. And you know, the Bajau are those famous tribe people who dive and they fish. They hold their breath and go deep in the sea with their spear guns for up to five minutes. It's incredible. I'm sure you guys might have seen uh, some videos on social media about that. You should check them out. It's incredible. And again, Filipino roots. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're going to the last tribal house now. Now this is a little special, he says. Ray, why is this sixth house and sixth tribe special? Well, the special thing is that they have the welcoming ceremony where okay. they will try to scare you. Oh, scare us? Mabuhay squad, why? Well, because they are the most aggressive headhunters. Don't worry, I can manage, I'm your manager. Ready? I'm not willing to place my bet <laughs> against you and a tribe of headhunters, RJ. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's Ready? go. Let's try this. Okay. I'm I'm kind of nervous, my boy squad. Here we go. This welcoming ceremony. They're gonna try to scare us. It's so dark. Oh, my boy squad. I'm so nervous. Look at the entrance to their place. It's called Morot. That's the name of the tribe. <laughs> Freaked me out. Oh my gosh. This guy's gonna chop my head off. <gasps> oh RJ RJ behind you. He's gonna cut your head off and now this guy's also gonna cut my head off <gasps> I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. He's asking RJ questions Where are you from? Philippines. What's your name? RJ What's your purpose for coming to the village? What's your purpose to coming to the village? Me. Wow, we just got welcome, guys. He asked if he could take care of me. I don't know about they that, like, RJ. They have like password to get in. Oh my! This is a high priestess doing a blessing ritual. We just have to pass by RJ. Oh my god. Oh my! Wow. So scary. It's like a. It, it's like a. A witch! <gasps> wow, this is an incredible experience, Mobile Squad. I, I feel like we're going back in time here. Wow, look at the house! Can you imagine, Mobile Squad? Like, let's say we just randomly jumped into a time machine and then we didn't know where we were appearing and then we appeared here in the Borneo jungle and we saw houses like this. We wouldn't know what time or place we were in and we would have to deal with headhunters like this. Oh my gosh! And in my case, I'm Filipino, so they would probably see me as like an enemy tribe or something. <gasps> I think what I would do if that ever happened was I would sing, I'm getting balik by and box, and they'll think that I'm an angel or something. Okay, guys, so apparently that whole ritual with asking RJ at the gate, that doesn't happen. What really happens is they shoot you first with this dart gun, you become paralyzed, and then you wake up 
and then they ask you the questions. And if you don't answer in their language, you're dead. So RJ and I would have died because we don't speak this Murut language. Wow, he's gonna teach us how to use the blow dart. Oh, this is just a plastic. <gasps> yeah. Interesting. Oh, the... This is crazy. Go, Ray. You can do it. Wow. Ooh. Oh my. Wow. My boy squad. Look it. He totally hit the coconut. <gasps> wow, that's good aim. I'm amazed. Wow. I'm amazed, Ray. RJ, are you gonna try? Okay, RJ's gonna try this, my boy squad. I'm interested to see how this pans out. And by the way, there are people in there. See those spaces? Those are feet. I would laugh if he hits those people. Go, RJ. Oh, you missed. Now, look, RJ hit here. I mean, it wasn't that far, but he could have missed the person had that been an enemy coming to his house. RJ's gonna try this again. Second shot. Go, RJ. No. Oh, you need to blow it harder, really. It's further. Okay, I'll try it, sure. So, Mikey is trying now. Let's see. Whoa! Oh that was my first try. And look, got it right here. Yes. Thank you, LASIK. <laughs> okay, RJ's gonna try it again. A little bit, yeah. Then blow hard. Oh, almost! That was his closest. That was the closest he's he's ever done. This was his, right here. He just needed to either blow harder or lift it a little higher and he could have hit it. Wow, wow guys, look. This is the traditional way to go into this house. <gasps> we'll get in. Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm... Okay. Gotta do it step by step. Whoa, here we go. <gasps> there are people here. Ooh. Interesting. Guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try the jumping game. So guys, look at this Murut tribe house. It's awesome. Amazing. Wow. This is like, these bamboo houses are just the most impressive architecturally I've ever seen. Okay guys, so this jumping game that we're about to try right now, using this like Sabahan trampoline is, they gotta jump and then they gotta try to get those, one of those prizes. It's like the Filipino game Pabitin, except using a trampoline. There they go. Wow. 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 You actually did it. Amazing. Yeah. RJ's gonna try it. Jump. I. You like. Jump one millimeter high, RJ. <laughs> you have to jump and get that. Oh my gosh, this is so funny, guys. Oh. Wow, guys, now we're gonna watch a cultural show. <gasps> my boy, Squad, doesn't it remind you of the cultural show we saw at Villa Escudero? Well, Saba and the tribes in the Philippines are related. Guys, it's like Tinikling. Malaysians do it too. Wow. Wow, their Tinikling is like ours on steroids. Woo! Bravo! All right, Ray, we had such a great time. Thank you so much. This was You're so welcome. cool. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Where can they find you online? If it's Instagram, you can find me in Ray, as in R A Y. XD95. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, follow him on Instagram. And if you want to check this place out, I'll leave all the info and their website in the description box. So you could come here too and discover Sabahan culture. Bye, Ray. Bye. Have a good night. Okay, good night. My boy squad, yes, reunited with the crew. Dan morning. and LC. Hi, good morning. Yes. Okay, where are we? We are in Pekanabalu in Kundasang. Next to... Ta Ooh, next to... <laughs> ta -ta -ta -ta! Huge, massive mountain. <gasps> OMG! Guys, that's Mount Kinabalu. Holy, I don't think I've ever seen a mountain in real life that big. <gasps> it's massive. Oh my god, my boy squad, that is huge. I don't know, it's massive. <laughs> Guys, it's so big. Like, Dan says this is higher than Mount Fuji in Japan. It's one of the huh. highest in Southeast Asia. It's massive. 
how many uh, the size of Kinabalu Park itself yeah. uh, is almost the same size of Singapore. Wow. Of the whole entire island here. Wow. This entire area is the size of Singapore. That is so big. I've never seen a mountain this big in my entire life. Honestly. And like, I think that's even bigger than the mountains in Vancouver. Oh my goodness. I just want to stay here, like, for hours and admire this. <laughs> To trek up there takes a day and a half, guys. They do like treks there and even a marathon every year. Wow. That is amazing. Man, I can't get over it. My boy squad, this camera doesn't appreciate the massive sheer size that is this mountain. <gasps> I, I, I want to be here forever. Thank you, life. Ready, guys? Let's do it. I accept whatever good someone might be rejecting from him or herself <sighs> so inspiring oh man this is like a great place to meditate rj's busy instagramming so is dan i'm appreciating the lc is appreciating yeah my boy squad i just want to sit here and really take this in with you guys man just beautiful in a way it has some baguio feels <laughs> Right? Even the weather here, right now, is kind of cool. I really like it. This is fantastic. Alright, so there is a market here too. Guys, doesn't this really remind you of Baguio? It, it really does. Ooh, looking for magnets. Awesome, Mount Kinabalu. Sweet. I can't I think, wait. To... I think this one because my okay. Malaysia, my, you know, everything. My Mount Kinabalu, it says. Yeah, okay, we'll get this one. All right, Dan just made tawad for us. <laughs> oh, you call tawad? He, yeah, tawad, they call uh, it in okay. Filipino. Haggling. Bargaining. Yeah, haggling. All right, guys. See that giant fish? That fish up there? We're about to do something really interesting. Yeah. RJ, are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. My boy squad, what we're doing here involves fish. Elsie, so what is this place? This is the fish spa village. It's okay. called the Kampong Luanti. So you will be experiencing fish spa. Ooh, fish spa. The fish will come to you and massage you. Oh, that's like different. Oh, no. <laughs> guys, look. They gave us food. But not for us, but for the fish. All right, RJ, let's see this fish spa. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> my boy squad, these fish are huge. <gasps> okay, I've it's seen the lapia. foot fish spa before, but they were tiny. These fish are big. Holy, they're huge. I'm scared. Look at that one. I'm scared. That one's huge. They're like the size of trout and salmon. Look at this. They're eating the lady's hand. The tables have turned. <laughs> yeah, are you scared? They are big. They're like catfish. There are 11 different species? Yeah. 11 different species of fish. Yeah, I saw catfish. Wow, so we just get in barefoot? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Ew, so they like suck off our feet? Here we go, my boy squad. Let's do this. Gorge, one, two, three. 